Hey guys, welcome to another Jaw 7 TV unboxing. This time it's the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pre-release box. And uh, yeah, super excited about playing in the pre-release. The second pre-release, and it looks like we get the Mudsdale uh, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising uh, promo card there out of this pack. And love that enhanced stop, really cool. I tried that in my deck and it didn't turn out so well. But, you know, that's besides the point. Get four packs and uh, let's go ahead and jump in here. It's going to be a quick unboxing video. And uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully we get some cool stuff. The first pre-release I did didn't get anything. So that, that kind of stunk, but uh, that's okay. All right, here we go. Wimpod, Nose Pass, uh, Wishy Washy. That ability really cool on Wishy Washy. Slowpoke. Stuffle, so cute. Ah, an energy. Choice Band, a great card in this set. Uh, yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, Alamalola, oh, I said that wrong. Beware. <laughs> My favorite card, Max Potion and Sharpedo. And again, I'm not kidding. Max Potion is probably my favorite card in the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the second pack. It's funny because I've actually already... Uh, open these prior to me recording the audio for this video so I know what I get, but that's okay. Uh, Barboach to start things off. Carvana as our second card there. Uh, Tallow with Reckless Charge. jogmo -O with Bulletproof. Delibird with All the Presents. That card did a lot of work in the pre-release. Uh, uh, there's Matang. Altar of the Sun, a really cool stadium card. Alolan Graveler had a friend play that card in the pre-release and absolutely dominate with it. Rayquaza, an amazing card with Turbo Storm. And check that out, guys. Vicavolt GX card is so, so cool looking. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, try to do something with Lightning this, uh, this time around. Even though that card isn't the best card in the world, uh, it's still pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it's worth... It's worth trying to do some stuff with. So we get that Rayquaza, uh, which is a great card on its own. The Vicavolt out of that set. And uh, here we go. All right, pack number three out of four. All right, Gothita. Uh, Litwick. Such a cool-looking card. Fletchling. Carvana with the old bite ability for ten. <laughs> Barboach with Mud Slap. Ah, the energy. I really need to learn to take these energies out of here. Uh, Altar of the Moon. Adding that one to my Mega Mewtwo deck with that two cost and get the altar of the sun as well in this pack alolan graveler yeah cool card choice band love the foil choice band and guys check it out oh my goodness i was so excited about this rare candy oh the gold rare candy so very nice and uh, yeah the choice band as well and i'll take it i was really really happy with those pulls i'll tell you uh yeah now if only i could have got a like in rock gx that would have been awesome all right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, do the old card trick there. And let's see what we get in our last pack. Beldum, Helioptile, Phantom. The card's going to see some play, hopefully. Uh, Stuffle, Whalmer. Of course, your favorite Waylords in the set. Uh, Marini with Bailout. Whimsicott, Vanillish, Honchcrow, a cool card. Can work really well with Decidueye, possibly. And Sogaleo. Yeah, I was happy about pulling uh, Sogaleo as well. It's a really cool card. Of course, you can get that one in the starter decks as well. But, uh, yeah. So there we go, guys. Very happy with my pre-release, my second pre-release pull that got this uh, Vicavolt GX, uh, which is a very cool card. Um, but I don't know if it's going to see any play or not. But either way, it's still really neat. Quaza Turbo Storm is very strong. That attaching two basic entry cards from your discard to a uh, Pokemon on your bench. Ah, and feel that the the Gold Rare Candy, such a wonderful card. Going to add that one into my Incineroar deck. And uh, Choice Band, yeah, that card's going to see an ungodly amount of play in this next season. So, well, guys, thanks for joining us on this unboxing. And until the next Draw 7 TV video, we'll see ya.